Hello and welcome to Learning and Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to schedule Teams meetings so that they appear automatically in the Outlook calendar of the participants. It'll also include a link to that meeting so that when that meeting is scheduled, they can go in, see it in their calendar, click on the link and automatically join that meeting. It's very, very handy, especially in an academic situation where we have reoccurring meetings such as classes or office hours. It's a very handy feature. And it is important to go from Teams and then schedule those meetings so that they appear in Outlook. You could also go to Outlook and schedule meetings, but then you have to create a link back to the team meeting, which can be a little bit uh, more challenging. So let's go ahead and create those team meetings and I'll show you exactly how in this video. If you like tips like this, go ahead and subscribe. And if this video is helpful, go ahead and like. Don't forget to share with colleagues as well if you think they'll get benefit from it. Here I am in my team meeting. So I've, I have a, a team here called My New Team and I'm in the general channel. Let's say I want to have inter introductions and I want to schedule an introductory meeting where we're all going to get together and we're going to meet, uh, let's say I have two introductory meetings. We're going to have one on Wednesday and we're going to have one on Friday. So what I can do is I could send an email to everybody who's part of this team by getting an email address. I could even send a link to the channel and include that in the meeting request, but that's using Outlook in order to drive it. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go into scheduling of a meeting. And when I schedule this meeting, and I'm going to call this introductions. And let's say we're going to do a two part introduction. First, where we're going to all meet and we're going to talk. And then the second one where everybody has to go and bring us an artifact. They have to show us their favorite hobby, whatever it may be. And I can use a scheduling assistant. Now, if I'm using this in an academic environment, I kind of control the schedule. So if classes occur every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from one to three, that's a given. Those are the scheduled times for the class. Same with office hours. However, if I'm in a corporate environment or if I'm working with a group of peers, then I may want to find out when we have a common available time slot on our calendars. And the scheduling assistant will look for that common available time slot and generate a meeting request to fill that time slot. So I'm going to call it introductions. I can put who the required attendees are and I can also select optional attendees. In my case, I have a couple of people here. I'm going to have Bruce, which is Bruce Wayne. I'm going to put Clark, which is Clark Kent. And I myself will also automatically be part of this meeting. You can put in optional attendees and then I can schedule the meeting. Now notice I can schedule it as a one time occurrence. I can make it an all day event or I can make a repeating meeting. So in my case, I'm going to schedule this meeting and it's going to be on Monday, let's say Monday, and we're going to have this from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. We're going to have introductions and it's going to be, there's going to be a two part. So I'm going to have it repeat and I'm going to have it repeat in a custom schedule and it's going to start on September 7th. It's going to repeat every day or will I have it repeat every week, every month, every year. So in my case, I'm going to go through and in my custom occurrence, I'm going to select an end date. So let's say it's going to end on the 11th and I'm going to have it repeat on a weekly basis on the Monday and on the Wednesday. So now it occurs every Monday and every Wednesday from the 9th of September, sorry, from the 7th of September until the 11th of September. So it's going to be, I'll make it Friday as well. I'll make it a three part meeting. So now I'll go ahead and I will save this. And then I can put in, notice it says my new team, which is the team it's a member of. And this is the channel. I could change the channel that I wanted it to be a member of. So I could put it into any of the different channels, but I will make it uh, the introduction channel. I could even put it into another team that I'm a member of. Underneath location, you don't really need to specify a location because it'll be online, but you could if you had locations enabled in your exchange environment, put a location in there. And I'm going to say, uh, meeting to introduce ourselves. It's a lot of introductions. So we have three days, but, um, and if I could spell and talk at the same time, that'd be great. So I'll put that in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send that. It's going to send that to all of the attendees that I indicated. It's going to put a meeting in here. So you can see that there's a meeting to introduce ourselves every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now if I go to my Outlook, so I have Outlook handily over here, you'll see that I now have introductions, my new team that's automatically been put into my calendar. 
And if I go into my calendar, so I'll just open up that meeting, give it a double click. I can go in and I can open just this one occurrence or the entire series. I'll just open the one. And you'll notice here that it gives me the meeting, the information that I've accepted. I automatically accept because I'm the meeting organizer. For anybody who is going to be uh, invited to the meeting, they will receive a request to join that meeting and they will have to accept, decline, whatever the case may be. And notice this is the cool part here. Well, it's all cool as far as I'm concerned, but right here, I can actually go here to join that particular meeting at that particular time. So now it's in my calendar with a link that allows me to join that meeting. And that's how we schedule meetings. Thank you so much for watching. You're now ready to go and schedule those meetings so that everybody can show up on time, can make it to class and can make it to office hours. Again, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next videos. Take care.